Guys, this one king. I appreciate y'all more than y'all know. Thank y'all for stopping back by for another video, guys. If y'all new here, please hit the like button. If y'all been here and y'all back again, I appreciate it. Please hit the like button. It helps with the algorithms to help push this content out, guys. I'm giving y'all a real game on this channel, okay? Grand word of wisdom. Guys, stop hanging around folks that's off frequency from you, okay? If you up here and you hanging around folks down here, guys, chances are you're going to get dragged down here, okay? You need to start watching who you hang around and hang around like-minded individuals, guys, that have common goals, okay? Because if you don't, it's easy for a negative person to drive a positive person down than it is for a positive person to try to put a negative person on their level. You see what I'm saying? But remember that, guys. Let's jump into some news. Guys, when in doubt, zoom out. Remember this. XRP will be the first regulated cryptocurrency in the U.S., okay? Yes, it's bad right now. Okay, we've been through worse. But y'all got to remember, we're going to be the one. We're going to be the first one out the gate. The first one with clarity. What do you think going to happen to that value once we get that clarity, guys, and we're the first one in the space? What do you think is going to happen? All right. You got Matter here saying blah, blah, blah over two years and still nothing, whatever. All right, guys, people like this just need to leave it alone, give it up, okay? Move along. Yet they still linger around and hang around in the space, guys, to spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt and negativity. What's the use? You got Michael here. He said, that's great news. We know, we know this for years. Let's get some effing price action. That's what I'm talking about, and it's coming. <laughs> it's, right up, it's right up ahead, in my honest opinion. You got Eddie that says, LOL, would be regulated already if it wasn't for corrupt America. Absolutely, 100% agree. But guys, zoom out. Just remember, it's going to be the first regulated cryptocurrency in the U.S., all right? We're going to jump over here to some other news, guys. More Americans turning the credit card, turning the credit cards to cover basic expenses as inflation, inflation rages on, right? So how does this tie into cryptocurrency? Um, we got to understand something, guys. If people are turning to their credit cards, right? And most people will max out their credit cards and be maxing out their credit cards, guys. I know what that feels like. That was me back in the day, or back in the day. But if most people are turning to their credit cards, guys, then chances are, if they send up some crypto, they'll be turning to their crypto as well. This ties into what I told y'all in my previous video, right? About folks developing paper hands, guys, and letting their crypto go for less than nothing, in my honest opinion, right? Because we know the economy is still spiraling out of control. Rates are gonna probably keep going up here over the course of the next um, uh, the next couple terms. You see what I'm saying? So we gotta be forward thinkers. We gotta be careful, guys. We gotta find other avenues, okay? We don't wanna be out here, you know, creating more and more debt that we don't need. It's best that you get rid of your debt, guys, Cut out the trips, cut out the extra eating out, cut out the extra spending, uh, going shopping and, and just uh, spending, you know, wasteful spending in general. Just cut it out. Let's focus on the debt. Get the debt, get the debt going. Get the debt out of here, okay? We're trying to go into this new era, guys, being the front runners. We're going to jump into some other news. We got Zoom XRP on and off ramps. The service goes live in the U.K., um, it says the Zoom XRP on and off ramp service is available now to residents in the United Kingdom. The XRPL and Zoom web developer uh, is sharing a screenshot of a successful transfer of $50 in exchange for about 173 XRP using the Zoom on and off ramp service. <clears throat> Excuse me. In a tweet today. Uh, now, guys, what this means is like you can actually like go into the Zoom app. You know, you can pull in fiat right through the app, you know, from your bank account and you can purchase XRP. You can trade that fiat for XRP right through the Zoom app, okay? And vice versa. You can take that uh, XRP, trade that XRP for fiat and send it right to your bank account, okay? That's pretty much what's going on here. It says, as it implies, the service will allow residents of the United Kingdom to purchase XRP with fiat directly through the Zoom wallet app, okay? And it says, vice versa. At competitive rates, consequently, it eliminates the need for XRP holders 
to leave self custody. And we know that the uh, Zoom is obviously uh, built on the XRP ledger, okay? For those of y'all that didn't know, so if you hold your XRP on the Zoom wallet, then in my honest opinion, you shouldn't have really anything to worry about. I just get a better peace of mind knowing that I hold my own XRP and I control the dynamic of, you know, the ins and outs of it, pretty much. Guys, this is the rest of the article. Y'all can read the rest of that if y'all want to. We're going to jump over to here. We got crypto whales, guys, that's moving over $670 million in Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Polygon, and Curve. Here's what's going on. New data from Wells Survey and Platform Well Alert finds that deep-pocketed traders have moved over $315 million worth of crypto in two separate transactions. The first transaction happened on January 4th, guys, with over 9,000 Bitcoin worth $155 million being moved from one, own, one unknown wallet to another while the second transaction occurred yesterday, over 15,000 Bitcoin worth over $260 million at the time from one unknown wallet guys to another. Now, what's going on? If y'all know what's going on, y'all have some ideologies, gotta leave a comment. Guys, go ahead and hit the like button, okay? I'm giving y'all some real news. Go ahead and hit that like button, guys. Go ahead and hit subscribe if y'all haven't. I do appreciate it more than y'all know. Um, it says, moving on, moving on to the leading smart contracts platform, Ethereum Whale Alert finds that a whale reallocated 32 over 32,000 Ethereum worth over 40 million at the time of writing from one unknown wallet, guys, to the US based crypto exchange platform, Coinbase, on the 5th of January, guys, which is two days ago. What they looking to do with that Ethereum? They looking to dump that Ethereum, right? Are they waiting for a price pump? You know, so they could take some profits or what? What's going on? Why did they allocate all of that Ethereum to Coinbase? I don't know. Your guess is just as good as mine. Leave a comment. Let me know where it's going. It says other crypto assets on radar, on alert radar, including XRP, the asset used to operate Ripple Labs payment platform, layer two scaling solutions, and Polygon Matic. And we've already went over in previous videos, you know, all the billions of XRP that they've been moving, right? Or millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. So something's definitely going on, guys. We see the market guys trying to, you know, rally a little bit. But guys, I think this is setting the stage for something bigger that's coming guys like I told y'all in one of my previous videos over the course of the next month going into February and possibly early March guys I think risk assets guys about to get the green light <laughs> in my honest opinion I think that green light is being turned on that's just what I think guys but let me know what y'all think guys leave a comment I do appreciate y'all more than y'all know guys that's what I got for y'all thank y'all so much for y'all time guys I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video all right, all right, I lied, okay? I'm sorry. I forgot to let you guys know this, okay? Guys, if you believe that you may have been a victim of fraud by the Sam Bankman Freemason, please contact the Victim Witness Coordinator at the United States Attorney's Office using the email address listed below, okay, for assistance. We know a lot of people have been scammed by this dude. This dude laid up somewhere just chilling. We know he plugged in, guys, with the Freemasons. Sam Bankman Freemason. That's what his name is. They just ain't going to tell you that. Here's the information. Wendy Olson, Clancy, the Victim Witness Coordinator, United States Attorney's Office. Okay? New York, New York. There's the email. And that is the U.S. Department of Justice, okay? Hopefully, everybody involved in this gets some justice because... These guys get away with murder, in my honest opinion. It's ridiculous that you got people like this. I mean, that are just being looked out for. It's, it, 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 it's crazy. There ain't nothing else I can even say about it, guys. I, ain't, I might have lost for words. This dude should be underneath the jail, in my honest opinion. But I forgot to add that in there in the video. So there you go. You get, there you guys go if you need to contact the U.S. Department of Justice, guys, if you've been a victim of this foul play. There you go. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all more than y'all know. I'm out of here.